What's up everybody? Papa Bear here. Today we're talking about trimming your plants. Coming up next. <laughs> everyone welcome back you know I'm sorry it's been a bit since I've ended up you know uploading a video uh, I've been busy as heck uh, with all the plants and that but anyway seeing as how it's coming close to harvest I mean if you're growing at the same length of time that I am you're probably just getting over week one of flower so you're probably you know sitting there thinking you know you know, how do you trim these things? You know, how do you trim these plants? I mean, you either have baseball bats that are, you know, on your plants, or, you know, you're, you're sitting there with some, you know, some stems, and you're trying to figure out, you know, like, okay, well, how should I trim this? Should I dry trim it? Should I wet trim it? Should I do both? You know, I'm gonna tell you right now how I trim. I do both. What's the difference between wet trimming and dry trimming? Well. With wet trimming, your leaves are at the most supple. You can see where your trichome line is on your sugar shake or your sugar leaves, whatever. And to be brutally honest, it's a lot easier when you can see where everything is instead of having everything, you know, dry out, fall off, and all the rest of that stuff. Um, so what I normally do is I end up, you know, trimming the plants. Uh, to the point where I'm, you know, up to the frost line, and you will see the frost line. You know, believe me, it's not something that you'll miss. I mean, you will definitely see where there's a division line as to where the uh, the trichome line started and ended up going back all the way. So I normally trim to that point. Um, and then I end up hanging my plants up to dry. I normally dry for well, however long it takes, to be honest. I mean, geez, it's just one of those things of, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So then after everything ends up drying out, if you have seed and that's what you were trying to do, make sure you end up being very careful when you end up grabbing your, your flowers. And the reason why you want to be careful when you grab your dried out flowers is because those seeds are going to fall and they're going to fall off real easy. So what you want to do is you want to, you know, put a bucket underneath, you grab your stem, bring it down, you know, have a trim bin handy, that kind of thing. And then just, you know, get in there with a pair of, you know, little fiskers or something like that, you know, try to manicure your buds as best as you can. And when they're dry, you know, if you have any leftover leaves or whatever, like fan leaves that were in between the buds and that, um, they'll, they'll just fall off. You know, everything just kind of crumbles off, you know, is done. Um, you know, when you're drying your plants, you know, generally I tend to wait until I can feel the stalk snap a little bit. Um, if not break off. That's just me though. And then what I'll do is I'll end up putting, um, you know, I'll end up taking my buds, put them into jars and let them cure for however long it takes. You know, make sure that, you know, when you're trimming, you end up getting your sugar shake off because even though there's all kinds of trichomes and stuff like that, it ends up getting a little harsh on your throat, a hard, little bit of harsh on your lungs. And not only that, but if you want, you can end up keeping your sugar shake aside. You can end up using that to uh, make some really good hash or bubble hash, you know. Collect those trichomes and, you know, squish that out into some hash rosin or something like that. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Um, or if you want, you can take that stuff and use it in edibles, you know. It's, it, it's just one of those things. You know, uh, people got to learn how to trim their buds and all the rest of it. You know, some people go out and end up getting, you know, those trimming machines. You take your your uh, wet buds in, give a little bit of a spin, and poof, away you go. You know, you have these amazingly cured buds and everything else. And to be brutally honest, I don't like the way they look. And I think that you end up, you know, losing, um, you know, you lose some dry combs out of that. 
so generally I end up leaving those on there and then I put them in the jars and like I said I let them go you know I burp my jars every uh, well for the first day I burp my jars every you know couple hours you know I throw a uh, silica pack in there to uh, suck out all the oxygen just to make sure that I'm not going to end up with any moldy buds or anything and uh, you know I go from there once they end up getting to this you know the preferred spot I like to keep them anywhere between 50 percent 60 percent I take a bevita pack or I take some uh, orange slices or lemon slices that's another thing that's good to do and I drop those in there and what happens is it ends up actually uh, rehydrating them to a certain percentage and normally it's you know within whatever you end up finding with the Vita pack not only that but if you end up liking a citrus flavor you know it ends up adding a citrus flavor without having to go out and buy any of those flavoring uh, those flavoring strips that you can throw into your bud when it's drying out and cured and all the rest of it so it can end up adding that extra you know smell profile that extra turp profile and stuff i don't bother with that i like my flower raw you know i like my flower the way how i like my flower and that's the way how i am but with everyone else everybody has a different preference you know some people like their buds looking like they could belong in high times or you know insert publication here and personally i'm not worried about that because i'm keeping everything i grow you should too you know there's no need to go out and do anything illegal anymore i mean if you're in canada i mean all you have to do is just walk down the road and instead of going to the ontario cannabis store you can go to any of the dispensaries around in canada you know just one of those things um now when you end up having really really big buds and i mean buds bigger than your fist you know like you've ended up seeing some of the baseball bats I have on the plants there. Some of them are bigger than my fist. Some of them are bigger than my hand. I can't get my hand around them. You know, wait for those to dry out after you end up doing a bit of, you know, a, a, an easy wet trim, you know. Hang them up somewhere where you're going to have all kinds of airflow so you don't end up with bud rot or anything else. And you don't end up losing what you just spent your whole summer, spring, growing up. You know, you'll want to try to keep your buds as best as you can, as nicely manicured or whatever, to your heart's content. It's all personal preference at that point. You know, there is no end-all, be-all, oh, kind of thing for, uh, you know, growing your plants. So, it, it, it's brutally up to you and how you want to trim your plants. So... Like I said, personally, I do a mix of both, you know, um, wet and dry trim. Some people, you know, they swear just by wet trimming because of how close you can get into the bud and really, like, pull out those leaves and stuff. Um, and some people prefer dry trimming because, well, hey, it's easier to dry trim than it is to wet because stuff just crumbles away. And personally, I don't like that. You know, I'll do a final manicure, like I said, when they're when they're dry. But I tend to do most of my trimming when um, when I end up clipping the uh, stems off of the plant, and I end up, uh, you know, before I go and hang them to dry. After that, then, like I said, you know, I'll give them one little final manicure, and then into jars they go. Um, Another thing you could end up doing is uh, get yourself some bubble bags. Make sure you keep that, you know, all that goodness and that around. You know, throw your trim into a bag, like a shopping bag, Ziploc bag, something like that. And like I said, you can, you know, take that stuff and end up making some beautiful hash out of it. But that's just me. But anyway, uh... Like I said, you know, trimming is literally personal preference. There is no set way to trim. There is no set way to do it, you know, properly, you know, all the rest of the stuff. I mean, 
you, you, you're not selling it anymore, so all you have to do is just make it look however which way you want. So yeah, that's my suggestion. Anyway, you know, I'm probably coming up to the 10 minute mark, so just remember, this is Pop Bear, and I'm saying, take care of each other. See you later.